on, Nova. We're gonna go in the bathtub. Come on. Come on, this way. Can you go up? Up, up, up. Good girl. Very good girl. Okay, so today we are grooming Nova. She is a husky. And hi, hello. And I've been told that she is very good for grooming other than her paws. So let's get started on her bath. Are you shedding? Oh, not really. I don't think you're gonna blow much coat today. Do you like to sing? It's okay, it's okay. Good girl. No, good girl. Gotta stay down, come on. Down, down, good girl. No, stay down. Hmm, I don't know if you are going to be good for this. Good girl. Good girl, it's okay. It's okay, good girl. Good girl. Good girl, Nova. So far, no singing, but lots and lots of moving. Stay here. Good girl, Nova. Good girl, Nova. Nope, nope. Stay there. Nope, nope, nope. I'm baiting her in nasty critter because I ran out of fluff off, but stay. She's not really shedding. She's already blown coat, so I don't really think that fluff off is needed right now. Nasty critter will work just fine. Try not to shake for a second, okay? Okay, I think I'm gonna rinse her first and do her head at the end, just because I think once I wash her face, she's gonna be shaking a lot and moving around a lot. Nope. Oh, here we go. Don't shake. Don't shake. We are definitely gonna let her outside to play after because we got a fresh snowfall. Obviously, Huskies like cold weather, so she will probably very much enjoy herself out there. Oh yeah, you definitely don't like having your paws touched. You're not gonna let me wash your face, are you? You gonna bite? Just putting my hand on her muzzle to see if she lets me. To see if she's gonna let me hold it. It's okay, come here. Come here. Nova, come here. Just because, yeah, I'm not gonna wash her face. Just because um, when I wash her face, I, I don't want water going down her ears, so I wanna be able to hold her in certain places on her face, like for example, hold her ears down so that water doesn't get in them. But if she's going to be moving like crazy and not being okay with me doing that, I just don't want to really stress her out washing her face. <laughs> and then her trying to get away from the water the whole time. Okay, that's better. That's better. That's better. You just not like having her snout touched. No, no, not gonna like it? Okay, it's okay, it's definitely not dirty, so it's really not a necessity. Okay, so we did one shampoo, one conditioner, and now I'm just going to wipe her face with some wipes. Good girl. And there's not even any brown on that, so her face is definitely not dirty. No, no, we're gonna stay in the tub until I'm finished towel drying you, please. You wanna, okay, wait, wait, I'll give that to you, here. You're funny. 
Those nails are quite long, girl, and I'm assuming you're gonna give me a lot of trouble for trimming them. They need to be trimmed. Okay, stay down. So Huskies really enjoy taking these happy hoodies off. Let's see how she'll do. For Huskies and Shepherds, I usually use a large sized happy hoodie. The extra large is more for the extra large breeds like Newfoundlands, St. Bernards, those types of dogs. So large fits pretty good. I can see that she's probably gonna take it off. Do you want a treat? Wait there. Keep it on. She's a very pretty husky. All right, let's do this. I'm regretting not putting my hat on because of the hair, because it looks like she is blowing some coat, but it's really annoying to wear with the GoPro, so I think I'm just gonna have to suffer through it. I'm gonna put the belly band on her because she is spinning. Uh, I'm not sure what the previous rumors experience was what, with this dog, but the owner assured me that the dog was very good for the bath and dry. So far, that's not exactly what I see. Okay, I'll take it off, I'll take it off. Maybe she just didn't like wearing the happy hoodie, so we'll see how she behaves now that that's removed. freezing outside. It's minus 10 today. She's soaking wet. I definitely cannot send her home soaking wet in this frigid kind of weather. That's unrealistic. So she has to be dried even though she doesn't like it. Um, she is scratching me quite a bit and biting the dryer. So I'm going to put her in the groomer's helper to prevent her from being able to spin at the dryer. Something that people don't put into consideration when I'm grooming is that uh, a lot of these dogs are brand new to me and I don't know how they're going to behave. Sometimes owners tell me that their dog is really wonderful. That does not mean that they're lying. It could mean that the dog is wonderful at home with them or that the previous groomer either didn't have an issue with the dog for whatever the reason or the previous groomer, sometimes they just say dogs are wonderful even if they're not because people can get offended when you tell them the truth about their dog. I've witnessed that in the grooming industry before. This shouldn't be necessary, pup. No, no, no. Don't use those front paws to scratch the heck out of me.
Okay, she is about 50% dry on this side. I'm gonna clip her nails on this side, then I'm going to turn her, I'm gonna get her 50% dry on the other side, and then I'm gonna put her in the crate dryer because she really does not like the high velocity dryer, and I think it's going to be increasingly difficult and dangerous to continue drying her with it. So this is a bite-proof muzzle, which I have not ever had in the grooming salon before. This is not an agitation muzzle for those who know bite work, although it looks like one. It doesn't have the steel bar here. I switched over to using these because I am working on dogs that have a lot more behavioral issues these days, and I want to make sure that I am safe. I know. I'm sorry, but we have to try. No, no, no. Good girl. Good girl. Come here. Good girl. It's okay. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Yes. Very good girl. Okay. So I will do her nails on the other side after I finish blow drying. You really don't like the blow dryer, but you were pretty good for your paws. So she is about 70% dry, and then I'm going to attempt to dry her a little bit more with the handheld blow dryer if she allows it. You're gonna be difficult for the brushing too? Okay, nope, nope, no more of this. You're being a bit ridiculous. Nope, do not scratch me. Hey, no, no. No, why, why? It's just a brush, no, no. I would really like to get more hair out of her. So let's see if I can use the smaller dryer. She does not want me to do anything at all on the body. Every single time, I don't know if you notice this, but every time I try to do anything to her body, she turns her body in the opposite direction, which is a bit challenging when you're trying to obviously groom every part of the dog. So that's when we end up having to do things like using the groomer's helper and the belly band to prevent the spinning. I was hoping I'd be able to provide an excellent groom today, but I don't think that that's going to be what ends up happening because she is not compliant. anyone says it this brush does not hurt I am scraping myself with it she has a thick layer of fur so this is not scratching her skin so she just does not want it done and she's throwing a temper tantrum but no it's not hurting her like this isn't hurting her either and yet <laughs> she's still very upset about it Oh my gosh, I would have really liked to have sent you home. D shed, will you let me do the equi groomer? Can I do that? Wow. Are you
are you dying? Come on, girl. That is really quite... Really? No. 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 All right, so this is a situation where I just don't feel it is necessary to keep forcing this dog to be groomed. We did the best that we could. She unfortunately, whether she's just in a mood today or whatever the case may be, she just doesn't want to be groomed. And yeah, that's all there is to it, right? Yep, we got you bathed, mostly dry, and unfortunately not brushed. I'm, I don't even want to attempt to do your paws. I'm gonna let her outside to run around and play a little bit before the owner gets here. I'm sure she'll be here fairly quick because she does need to pick up her dog and head back to her city. So it'll just be some quick shots outside, but thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed a typical Husky.